keeping the pulse on how many phones you have, what the status of your database is, what, how many gateways, what features do you have implemented, who's using them. These are some of the baseline administrative tasks that we want. And when I say baseline, I mean that we need to kind of keep our pulse or our finger on the pulse of what our system is doing. And reporting is one of those ways. Reporting is also very helpful if we need to go to the powers that be, I call it, and say, hey, we might need to upgrade our licenses because we've added X number of users and phones and we're getting close to maxing out the licenses or the capabilities for these servers. We need to know. We are the ones that need to report. We need to have reports. We need to analyze this information. We need to document it well. And uh, I know sometimes we're not the best at documenting. I will admit sometimes it takes me a little bit to get back to the documents to get them updated, but I do try my best to keep them as up to date as possible. So let's take a look at what the reporting options are. Again, we get here, again, you can use your drop down menu, you could just do CUC reports after your IP address, but here's the system reports, here's your menu. And we have a whole bunch, you know, and these are kind of pre-canned, I call it reports, where you can see the replication status, the uh, database status, your device count summary. Let's, let's click on that one. And we'll say generate a new report. And it will show us based on all the devices that we have, the IP communicators, uh, I've got three of them. We've got conference bridge capabilities set up. We've got H323 gateways, MGCPs, and you know, it'll give you the counts. In other words, the device counts of what you have in your cluster. And this happens to be a, a standalone cluster, a single site cluster right now. Uh, as we move forward, we'll be expanding on that. But this gives you the number of phones. Uh, oh, here's a good one. Here's one of the features that we can actually uh, share lines amongst phones. Well, I actually might not have wanted that to happen, and I'm trying to figure out what phone am I sharing this phone line with? Well, this shows us what lines appear on more than one phone. Oh, 1,000. I can go into that now. I can go into 1,000 and it'll show me the devices that are associated with that and now I can fix it, or maybe that's what I expected. I wanted those two phones to share that line. So just some basic standard reports that you can pull information out of your system kind of right then, right there, on the fly to gain information. But also, I would print these out and document them and keep them in my logbooks so that I can kind of see how things progress, depending upon what it is. If it's my database, whether it's uh, phones, you know, that I'm setting up and so forth, I can kind of keep that progression in my logbooks.